thousands of kilometers away from the Russian invasion of Ukraine stands a church built 25 years ago in rural Virginia, where Ukrainian and Russian worshippers gather every Sunday for prayers. We have come to worship God and we, uh, the conflict in Ukraine, it grieves us a lot because we always considered ourselves as uh, brothers and sisters and what is currently happening in Ukraine uh, and between uh, Russia and Ukraine, it really grieves us a lot. Worshippers here at the First Baptist Church in Mount Crawford, Virginia, pray for a peaceful conclusion to the war, but say most people are against the conflict. There are people that really want this war, and if I say majority of the people, don't. So I don't think this war is needed. I think there are many different ways that we can overcome these di um, differences, but because there are people that want it and those people are in power, um, it was unavoid unavoidable. Churchgoers here emphasize the need to focus on shared values and heritage. The war is even more devastating for people with a mixed family background. My mom is Russian. I was born in Ukraine. And I'm married on Belarusian girl. My wife is Belarusian. So me personally, I'm a combination of all these three nations. So I can't see like me fighting with Russians and Russians fighting with Ukrainians, which actually Putin have created. So the thing is, for me as a believer, that we have to stand firm on the position, help those who are in need and create a peace environment. I think there is um, the opportunity for separation, but I think that we should focus on um, supporting each other. Even if we do come from different backgrounds, I believe none of us want this war and that um, we should uphold each other and we should support each other w throughout, no matter where we come from. On February 24, Russia invaded Ukraine. Thousands of people are reported to have been killed in Ukraine since, while more than two and a half million have fled to neighboring European nations. For Yahya Berzinji in Mount Crawford, Virginia, Namo Abdullah VOA News.